Welcome back to the vlog. Today I am going to be talking about the Mario movie, but to s first thing, there will be some gardening and garden stuff first, so here will be something on the screen showing you what time you're supposed to like warp to, or it will be in the description if you have that available. The timestamp will be in the description, so enjoy the video. This is the situation every April. Around about the time we mow the lawn for the first time, this is how long it's it usually gotten to. Very long patches. And yeah, that's when gardeners end up getting a bunch of leaves out here. So this is the state of the lawn, which I'll be cutting now. My dad will be holding the cable for me because my ear is really hurting at the moment. So I do kind of need a little bit of help today. Anyway, this one's a bit more tricky because the holly bush, the prickly ones. Yeah, that's the situation for the lawn. Which crawling about. Earwigs, did you say? Mm. I think so. No, it's bag pun. Woodlouse. Woodlouse. Yeah, woodlouse. Is that what the other thing is? Uh, it is a woodlouse. It's woodlouse. Of course it is. The lawn is mowed with some cut grass there. Uh, the That's the situation every April. It gets to about that and we cut it to about this. Why did these white ones not grow properly? Why didn't they not? Was there not enough water? Was it not enough soil? Too many seeds? What, what was the issue here? Because most of these haven't grown properly. Yeah, but it's a bit late for the white ones though, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe not. We shall see. So you don't know for sure? I don't know for sure. Because the ones on the right are certainly... have had more issues. Oh, that's actually it's the middle lot. There's some nice... One's good healthy, ones at the back. Healthy, thriving. That one's a good one. But these ones on the left are the best. The, these, the most well formed. As you can see, they, grow, they they form leaves differently. Different plants form leaves differently. That one is going to go next. Should be the most solid. In fact, it looks like there's two different ones. Where? On that left one. Far left one. Oh, there's only one, one on the, the left side. One in the corner? Yeah. No, it's just that... Um, two different seeds have grown. Or no, no, no. Oh, oh, two different seeds have grown. Yes, 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 sure. Yeah. But that one, it's just that there's only one leaf coming out and this one's kind of gone a bit further on. I would, I would say actually, is that the same plant? It might be, it might be two different, that's two different plants that is. So it? we've got three different ones growing then? Yeah. Oh. You did put three seeds in some of these there. Here so. Yeah. Well, yes, struck, struck gold. Looks like we've, got, looks like we've got three on this one as well. Oh. Shall we separate them? Get gone. I want to get those potatoes in next week. Yep. Coming up, yes. Trip to see family done was when I wanted to go and see the movie on opening day and then I realised, oh wait, we're actually travelling across the country that day. Of course we were. <laughs> but thankfully on Friday I was able to go with a bunch of family so that was very nice of them. And... Also went bowling as well, because that's always hilarious. <laughs> Played lots of games with Simeon, who was able to play a bunch of Mario Party as well. So it was fun apart from my ears. So, you know, it's, it all worked out perfectly. And as someone who hasn't been to the cinema in like almost a decade, I don't even know how long it's been. It's pretty much how I remember it. Snacks, lots of previews and ads beforehand, but... Yeah, it was an awesome experience. Apart from the fact that I wore my coat and towards the end I got a bit too warm, but, you know, that's my fault completely. <laughs> <laughs> but going to the movie itself, it was very, very good. Certainly, we'll keep rewatching it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who streams a lot of Mario, there were a lot of 
so many references and there's lots of YouTube videos talking about how many Easter eggs there apparently are. So yeah, go and search for those if you really want to. Or rewatch the movie over and over and try and find them yourself. But that will take a lot more time and a lot more money. Are you sure it's worth it? <laughs> but every character was really, really good. The fact that Mario and Luigi were based in England in in the world, our world, first. That was that was good. Every character was really, really good. Ultimately lots of life lessons for the kids as well because the main the main issue that I thought that was gonna happen was it was gonna be extremely woke. And the trailers did seem to imply that. That Peach would get all the glory and Mario would be lump and useless. That's what the trailers seemed to suggest. But it wasn't like that, so that was really good. Kids have good role models to look at. Apparently, there is a YouTube video made by... Hang on, I've got to look at this. There was a video made by Midnight's Edge, which I'll put in the description, about how Super Mario Bros. humiliates Disney and establishment critics by rejecting wokeness. It pretty much sums up the movie perfectly, because it does a really good job, and still has the tiny remnant of wokeness before Nintendo said no to Hollywood, but yeah... Because Peach, in particular, is portrayed really well because it shows her as a strong leader and very, very good skills. But it also showed a situation where she was out of the control. Well, not so out of control herself, but, you know, not in control of the situation where she needed extra help, meaning Mario. So, you know, it's the perfect balance in terms of Peach. And if... Because most people's complaints are Peach isn't the starring role because, yes, wokeness, but... If Peach had her own movie in the future, well, everything in this movie sets it up perfectly. Like, if Peach had her own movie, what what shows up in this one, in terms of her personality and mysterious origins, it sets it up perfectly. So you have nothing to worry about. And as the video in the description points out, that boys have a role model in Morrow, the girls have role model in Peach as well, and it's very relatable in terms of Mario and DK as well. So yeah, everything is relatable. And honestly, the final twist I did not see coming in terms of like the final battle itself. The one thing I didn't like was Bowser aggressive on Peach. That was just cringe. But I guess in terms of villains, they're supposed to be cringe or you're supposed to just not like them because they're villains. You know, they... A, you're supposed to be teaching kids that villains don't follow the script in terms of social etiquette or, you know, being nice and stuff like that. They are going to try and force force their opinions on people or try and destroy people because that is how, unfortunately, this world, this current world works. So teaching kids in a relatable way because you know immediately from the start that Mario's a good one and Bowser's evil. So the kids can work out what Bowser's doing towards Peach, not not good. So yeah, it should, should simple, but like all the premises and all the life lessons are simple enough for kids to understand. Because remember, the target audience is for kids. Ultimately, most of the people I went with don't really play Mario games much. Like they're mainly just watching the little kids in the family playing it more than playing it themselves. And yet they still enjoyed it. They they thought, well, it's kind of hard to keep track of at times it's mainly a, a mismatch sometimes of of references like there were so many references sometimes it was just you know it didn't really, there wasn't much build up to stuff but it's for kids it's not for me it's not for the people i went with it's for kids and families mainly and if you don't take a film too seriously it's hilarious <laughs> And it brings me on to the music, which is, as usual, amazing. It had a few unique unique and created songs for the movie as well, including the hilariously bad one by the voice actor for Bowser, which I don't know if that was made up, made deliberately horrible. <laughs> it would be so funny, but yeah. But see, funny. I just don't. I didn't find it funny, but I'm sure a lot of people did, and that's the important part. The audience, audience matters, not review review critics. Because yeah, it, Rotten Tomatoes or the the critics themselves said fifty odd percent. 
their opinion doesn't matter. The audience vote matters. Then that was at something at like 98%. So there were a couple of, besides the unique or music that was added for that game or created for that movie, there were a couple of old classics which I wasn't expecting at all. I was just like, uh-oh, what have they done? But it was so good. But yeah, there's two old classics that I've additionally also played in Mario Maker 2, so that's hilarious. And I always say this, I have loved credits music all the time in Mario in any in any Mario game or in most movies like Tangled had a different rendition of I See the Light in in the Amazon credits anyways so you know I love credits music it's just I've always loved that whether it's video games or movies or movies themselves so yeah and the after credits scene wasn't what I expected given what the trailer had shown but I'm not going to say anything <laughs> but it was it was really good and I recommend it to any family and providing you don't take your films too seriously like you're going to crit criticize every single little detail you will love it I think you will so yeah thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys on a future vlog because as you saw I did a little snippet of uh, the the plants and stuff so we will be going back to those growing potatoes and stuff later on in the week probably in a week's time or something like that so but anyway thanks for watching we'll see you guys in a future vlog and as always don't forget your banter recognize the tunes yet <laughs>